the soda geyser. Okay, so that went back to about 1910. It was originally done with those wintergreen lifesavers. I was oh. about to say, we didn't have uh, Mentos in 1910. We didn't, but yeah. we didn't. So it was originally done with a winter li- wintergreen lifesaver. <laughs> and so they go into the soda, like a soda pop, right? Right, right? And so it had that little hole in the center, and so it would make this really neat geyser, and it would come out. Yep, but then in the 1990s, the Lifesaver company changed the size of the Lifesaver. The science teachers were upset, and they said, all right, throw this experiment to the students. Let's figure out how to replicate this now that the Lifesaver doesn't fit in there. They did a this science. This is some ex- committed it's, chemist right here. It's awesome, tell you. though. I can totally see high school teachers just grabbing their students what? and grabbing all the candy, all the soda, and say, mm-hmm. all right, figure out what experiment. is happening. Exactly. So what's special about the surface of a Mentos, because it doesn't have a hole in it, right? And it, if I remember correctly, they're they're solid candies, right? It's solid candy, but it has these nucleation sites, so these like little divots, and they attract oh, the surface. Uh-huh. And so it attracts the carbon dioxide in the soda. The carbon dioxide slams into each other, builds up pressure, and it just shoots out the top. Wow. And then they found that Diet Coke has the best reaction because it has the highest carbonation. 